Yo. We got three songs down. We got two to go. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Sahriano The Third. Y'all guys are The Third Family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of this video, consider becoming part of this little family, clicking the subscribe button, bottom right hand corner. Now today we have the fourth installment of this little mini series that we're doing of these Mute Math Session reactions. And today we got Tear In My Heart. This song originally has like a whole different vibe and a whole different feel than normal 21 Pilot songs. This is actually the song or one of these songs this one and ride Th these two songs together i was like what same artist but as i've come to learn over the last couple months that that's just who these boys are so i'm excited to see how they switch it up and reimagine the already original track but there's not too much more to say that hasn't been said before on the other three videos so we just gonna hop off in this damn thing follow your boy on instagram and on twitter at the third earnest just like the channel no spaces links in the description below and let's just get it Joss is just gonna bust out a trumpet out of nowhere and we're just gonna like we're supposed to skim past it like like that's normal Oh, yeah, oh your your drummer doesn't play the trumpet all the time ours does and then we're gonna go on into the next frame and act like that didn't just happen when really deep down the editor knows it's like yo We're only gonna show this for a frame so that way everybody can be like what and then that little dance move spin that he did right into the opening Ooh, clean this dude can't dance, but he can dance if that makes sense. Let's do it again. You see how fast they like show it? Like it gets me mad how fast they show it. <laughs> and then I saw he was about to vibe. All right, let's go. Let's go for real. Guaranteed, I'll put my next paycheck on it, that all females who like 21 Pilots are definitely a fan of the way that this dude dances. Only because it's so awkward and it's such like a vibe and it just goes with his personality. Like you can't have a personality like his and then come out of nowhere dancing like Chris Brown. That just doesn't match. That's not the vibe of him. That's not the vibe of his personality in the band. This like awkward dancing, I'm kind of just vibing, I'm feeling it. That's the band's personality. And y'all, y'all just swoon over it, don't y'all? Hold up, before we even like get into the song, can we just talk about how different this song sounds? Like if I didn't know, if I didn't if I didn't see the track list, I wouldn't even known that this was tearing my heart. Like it doesn't even sound anything like the original track. This is the one so far that sounds the most different from the original track. And the original track is already very different from the rest of their sound. So they're just like jumping different tiers in terms of originality. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta be the more that you're alive and have a soul. But it takes someone to come around to show you how she's the tear in my heart. I'm alive, she's the tear in my heart. I'm on fire. That bay, the slap at the bass, it's fucking. It's clean. That shit's just a groove. You know what I'm saying? The chorus just sounds so different. Like the like the part that they just like the verse, verse number one. It sounded like it sounded like the song. This part sounds nothing like the song. That's so dope. I like really have nothing to say about it because it's just like you gotta enjoy, you gotta respect what they're doing to the song. Like whether or not you like the rendition, you just gotta enjoy it. You know? She's a Yo, 
just the offbeat drum playing right there, like the uh, uh, j drumming on the upbeat and on the like, but not at like a steady pace. It's just like sporadic and chaotic, but it still somehow sounds like it's on tempo and on beat. That's so hard to do. Not to mention doing that with your hands and then moving your feet at the same time. Drummers like freak me out about how much like, how independent their legs and their arms can be. People can't even walk and chew gum at the same time or like, like do a circle on their stomach and pat their head, much less do all this. And then I guess the guy in like the weird striped shirt is the lead singer because he's the one that's providing all the background vocals for, for, uh, for Tyler. And just the effects that they put on his voice and then the way he uses his voice in the background, like not trying to overpower the lead singer, but clearly sounds different. Songs on the radio are okay. My taste in music is your face. But it takes a song to come around to show you how. breakdown like that on the chorus on the bridge my mind doesn't even know where to go like i'm like listening to the song and i'm thinking damn this is like such a so original compared to the original song and then at the same time i'm thinking about like yo all the electronic sounds and the synthesizers sound so clean against like this really sporadic percussion like beat and then on top of that, the dude's like killing the bass. I love when songs feature the bass guitar because it has like a whole different sound. For example, like the song Sober by Tool, like it's just doom doom, doom doom. But then that happens and I'm like, my mind's all over the place right there. And then all of a sudden the sound just stops and goes into like a whole different, a whole different style, a whole different sound. My brain can't even keep up. <laughs> You gotta bleed and know Oh, oh, that you're alive And have a soul Oh, oh, but it takes some Shut up Just like, shut up you had me at hello. They went the complete opposite direction that I was expecting them to go and they went that direction because I was expecting them to go over here and they knew it so they switched it up this way. I was expecting them to like, the drummer to come in and bring it all the way up and then we were gonna go back into the original sound with the original like piano melody and the original bass and drum pattern but then we went even further deconstructed. They're just too good, that's all there is to it. And this whole part before they broke it down again, the way the whole part sounded with like very mellow, I could hear the entire song like that. Like I want them to release the whole song in that way because that's just a little vibe, you know? I'm all about the vibes over here, if you haven't learned by now. And if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name's Ernest, middle name Vibes, last name Adiano. That's how much the vibes matter. I put it part of my legal name. But let's go back and jam out a little more and let's listen to that breakdown again. For not using my taxes to fill over Sometimes you gotta bleed and know Oh, oh, that you're alive and have a soul Oh, oh, but it takes someone to come around To show you how She's the tear in my heart I'm alive, she's the tear in my heart I'm on fire, she's the tear in my heart Take me higher Why are they doing this to me? They're playing with my musical emotions. I think I know where the song is going and then they're like, psych bitch, nah you don't. And now we're here with this little like Congo vibe. Yo, I've never been so happy to be so frustrated listening to a song. And I'm only frustrated because I'm expecting something when the only thing I should expect is the unexpected. Sometimes you gotta bleed and know, oh oh, that you're alive and have a soul, oh oh. 
But it takes someone to come around to show you how she's the tear in my heart. I'm alive, she's the tear in my heart. I'm on fire, she's the tear in my heart. I was happy the whole time. The whole vibe of the song was up. And then all of a sudden you're gonna come at me with that ending and just throw all of my emotions off. I haven't had my emotions all over the place from one song like that in quite some time. But like, listen to this. It comes off of this really like high pitch, fast pace. We're going, we're going energy. And then boom, now we get a little somber. <laughs> She's a carver, she's a butcher with a smile Cut me farther Than I've ever been And even just like his vocal performance switches, it sounds like it goes from the high energy, like I love that she's the terror in my heart, but then also like, then we switch it, and then it gets sad. God, yo. That was by far the song that had like the biggest switch up from the original sound. It switched up like four times from the original sound and none of the times when it switched did it ever go and sound like the original. So we had four different sounds, four different all original sounds from a song that was already pretty original for the band. These dudes are just musicians, man, to be able to take that. It's, they basically performed this song five different times, the original and four different times right now. That shit's crazy to me. I could definitely see people who listen to this and 21 Pilots fans that listen to this track in particular and this one be either their most favorite track out of this little sessions thing that we're doing or their least favorite track. Cause like it's a polarizing, the way they the way they performed is polarizing. You either like the direction that they went or you didn't. It's not just like, ah. It's not one of those songs that's just like, all right, I like that a little bit. It's either damn, that shit was tight or yo, that shit was garbage, son. And I'm more over here on the tight side. But yo, that's the end of today's video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for sticking around and watching the entire thing through if you got to this point. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video and leaving a comment so that way the algorithm can catch this and send it, send it out there for all the 21 Pilots fans, for all the Mute Math fans and anybody who's here watching this. If you like what you see enough, consider becoming part of this little family and clicking the subscribe button, bottom right hand corner, because this is how we do things around here. A little long winded, a little bit more, a little more analysis of what's going on up top for myself. So subscribe, because that's how we do it with all videos. Like I said at the beginning, follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter, links in the description below. Follow the Discord, the Discord's on and popping. You want to conversate with me, you want to be able to get at me and get out the rest of the family, the Discord is the place to do it but that's pretty much it for today's video ladies and gentlemen like i always say at the end of all of my videos go out there in the world love and care for one another love and care for each other and i'll catch everybody on the next video the last one lame boy peace